Hi there, my name is Cody Kingsford. Ah, uh, I'm kind of sweaty and tired. And I don't look my best right now, but I feel like that just sort of adds to what I want to go on to talk about in this video. So, in that sense, it's good. Um, so, you could probably tell by the title that I'm going to talk about confidence and self-esteem. And I just want to preface this by saying that I am not like the confidence poster child <laughs> like um and i'm i'm not saying that i am like a professional confident person uh and if you can't tell already from my channel and my videos uh and the personality traits i've displayed on here if you knew um here's a little backstory Confidence and self-esteem is something that I've struggled with since I was a kid like I have Pretty much always like when I was a very small child. I guess I wasn't that aware of it I just when you were a child you just kind of do you don't really think about what you do or what other people say But then I started school and things started changing and I noticed that It like people at school don't love me and like me as much as my parents do <laughs> and um they're not as nice to me as my parents are, and I'm not blaming people, but, you know, I've, you, my confidence hasn't been the best, and, um, it's something I've struggled with, like, with my body, and just with everything, with just hating myself, and thinking I'm the most disgusting person in the whole entire universe, and thinking I'm worthless and all of that, and, um, when it comes to confidence, I sort of, uh, I'm very used to, or I was very used to, thinking of it in terms of you either have it or you don't and if you don't have it there's kind of a reason for that like uh you you it means that you don't you weren't given anything to be confident about so for example looks you didn't have the proper genetics for right looks to be proud of or um you don't have any particular talents to be proud of at least in in your opinion and all these other confident people that you see out there uh they all have something you know uh maybe they're even rich maybe that's why they're confident maybe they have a lot of friends and that was just something that was given to them that they are super extroverted and that's why they're confident or confident but you don't have anything to feel confident about and everyone's so much better than you because they have all these great things that you don't have. Um, but I got to a point where I realised that being very insecure about your abilities in everything does more harm than good, which is quite obvious, but... Um, he, and sometimes, like, if it comes with depression and anxiety and it's not really something you can control, so you go to therapy for it, but then maybe it's not that easy to handle there as well. So I'm not saying that you're stupid if you feel self-conscious and it's a waste of time. Um, but, uh, well, to me it was, and it, I started feeling like it's quite illogical, because even if I did suck at something, then thinking that I suck at it and feeling bad about it would just make it worse and then I started feeling really self-conscious about the fact that I felt so self-conscious and then I started thinking or saying to myself telling myself that I was really stupid for feeling or not being confident and that I was very unproductive for not being confident and whatever I haven't been the nicest to myself through the years but uh I've struggled with a lot of that but now I kind of look at confidence. Now that I'm older, I turn 18 this year, I'm going to be an adult. Um, but now that I'm older, I kind of, I've shifted my perspective a bit and my way of thinking of confidence. So how I look at confidence now isn't as simple almost as when I was like younger, because I don't see it as you have something that other people don't. Uh, sh like, I do certainly still get, like, feel jealous of people, and I have moments where I'm like, oh, they have, they're so lucky to have such a nice body, or to have, or to be so talented, um, 
when in reality talent is something you may work for. But anyway, uh, I may have moments where I feel jealous and I'm like, ah, oh, that's why they're so confident. And whatever, if only I had that thing, I'd be as confident. But you see a lot of, like, stereotypically or conventionally attractive people who aren't confident. So what I've noticed is that confidence is not as much about what you have already. Really, it's not about that at all. It's about what you do and your intentions. And that sort of shifted my pers perspective completely and how I, how I felt about it. Because it's sort of like, that gives me a chance. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't have all these things that I feel proud of. That were just given to me from birth. But I can make myself a person that I can be proud of. I can make specific choices and do specific things with the, or intentionally, with the intention of sort of doing the right thing. Just doing things intentionally that would make me feel proud of myself as a person. So that I don't really have to be proud of myself as a person if I don't like myself. And if it's sort of a difficult thing to think that you'll ever be proud of yourself in the future. But you can be proud of the things you do. And you can at least like the things you do. You can make a choice. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Like, it can, I don't know, be being extra nice to someone at school. Right? If he seems to be having a bad day. That's something you can like, because that's a very likeable thing to do. So it's sort of like, oh, I did that thing. That's very nice. I like that I did that. That made me feel a bit better about myself. And then if you keep making choices like that, you will build a person of, or consisting of all these things that you're proud of, which will sort of automatically make you proud of that person, which is you. And I think that's really cool. And that makes me feel very hopeful about the future, because it's sort of like, Confidence isn't about who I am, but it's about what I do. And uh, some other things that have sort of shifted around in my brain is the whole thing about when I feel insecure or vulnerable, I don't beat myself up for feeling insecure or vulnerable like I would before. And I would sort of make myself feel like I was smaller than I actually was. Because um, I would think like, oh, I, I feel so insecure right now and so anxious and... Uh, all these other people don't seem to be anxious, so that automatically makes them so much better than me. And uh, I have all reason to be anxious as well, because I'm just stupid and I'm going to embarrass myself. But if I sort of feel secure in my insecurity, that... Right, I, I, I don't really know if that makes sense. But it's sort of like accepting the fact that you feel insecure right now, but also saying that that's okay. Like... Alright, I'm having a moment where I feel really anxious, but that's okay. And just sort of allowing yourself to feel how you feel, instead of telling yourself you are stupid for feeling the way you feel. Um, so yeah. I don't, I, I hope that helped, it just, it sort of, it made me feel a lot better about myself, the fact that, like, Maybe I wasn't blessed with a very handsome face, in my opinion. But I can make choices that can make me feel proud of myself anyway. And I think that, to me at least, that seems like a sort of more sustainable type of confidence. Because you, your face would change as you get older anyway. Maybe some people would look good forever, I don't know. But it's sort of like, it. yeah. I may lose something that was given to me that I could feel confident about but if I keep making specific choices that I can be proud of then as long as I make those choices and do those things and do things that I think make me a good person intentionally uh, then I can feel good about myself for as long as I do that so that's what I'm planning to try and do and hopefully build some confidence that way and just be nice to myself and respect myself more and allowing myself to feel how I feel without beating myself up because tell myself I'm stupid for doing something only makes it worse and I don't want to be my own enemy so I'm going to try and be a bit nice to myself 
and I think I have for a bit, and I think it's working, which is good. Uh, so if you wanted a test subject for this uh, uh, experiment of mine, then it seems to be working on me. So you can try the same if you want to. I don't really know if you found the advice in this video helpful, but if you did, I'm very glad. I hope you did. I hope you at least find some advice that makes you feel better about yourself. So yeah, that's all, really. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know your opinions or your thoughts, uh, or your ideas in the comment section, and feel free to share any other tips and advice you may have. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay safe and eat drink and do not hurt yourself, so remember that it was a lot more than you can ever realize, seriously. And um, yeah, I hope you're taking care of yourself. Okay, stay kind to yourself and others, but don't forget about yourself. My dog says hi.